Ohayou gozaimasu. I'm gonna cut up this cantaloupe. In fact, I'm gonna cut up two cantaloupes because we go through a lot of fruit. But today, I wanted to talk about and actually ask you what to feed your kid when they puke. So the last 12 hours, mainly Judy, but of course I play a support role. One of the girls have been puking and it hasn't been pretty. We have five girls. So at any given time throughout the year, we can have one of these situations. And for us, it's really important not only to take care of them, but make sure the other girls don't get affected depending on why they're puking, right? So um, in this case, we think that she might've eaten something bad, but I don't know what it is. So default, when our girls are in this situation, try to feed them some really wholesome foods. So I'm gonna get this all prepared. It has been quite the challenge and I cannot wait till this is over for everyone's sake. It's as if kind of everything else takes a pause. And even if you have plans in the future, you almost are kind of thinking, hey, can we even do that thing? Because this is such a big deal. This is so important. And that's kind of how I feel right now. The thing about puking, it's so in the moment, such an emergency that you really don't think about anything else, including your own well-being, like as parents. <laughs> it's like last night, Lady um, Judy and I, we were um, in bed together and um, the one that was sick was in their pack and play in the room, just kind of like dry heaving almost every single hour. So we didn't get to bed till 4 a.m. And uh, Judy did most of all the work, but at one point we we're just getting kind of stressed out and luckily she was able to sleep in and uh, I kind of took over, but then she puked again. So trying to get some solid foods and it was applesauce. That's what's unfortunate. Back to liquids. First question I want to ask is, what do you feed your kids or what do you do when your kids are in this situation? This is going to be very helpful for me, but I thought it would be really helpful to hear from other people, especially parents, obviously, but anybody that has experience with this, what do you do? What do you feed your kids? Uh, what do you cook them? What do you not cook them? What do you not feed them? Uh, for me, it's pretty basic. The first thing I would say is I'm okay just letting my girls have 100% water for a good three to six hours. But the body is so resilient, it's so amazing. It can handle not having some food, especially if you're literally puking everything out. Now I know some people would give uh, their kids, especially uh, at a younger age, Pedialyte or maybe Gatorade. See, for me, I'm just trying to flush it all out and I'm not too worried because we do feed our girls fairly healthy meals. You know, they get a lot of good nutrients, fruits, vegetables, let the body do its thing. And then within, I'd say that three to six hour window, then I'm going to clear liquids, you know, 100% juices. If I can make a juice, that's even better. Definitely no sugar added, no other ingredients. And that's it. I'm avoiding milks. I'm avoiding even like a, like a bone broth, which is a superfood. Anything that can make their stomach kind of turn, I'm, I'm totally not trying to flirt with. Now food, that's the interesting thing. When can you start feeding your kid whole food? For me personally, it's gonna be all based off of how that kid is feeling because depending on why they're puking will determine how soon you can feed them. Maybe they just ate something really bad or spoiled or rotten and they just puke it out and they're all good within like an hour or two. In this case, it's been now 12 hours and so we're gonna have to probably get some Pedialyte or something like that. So it kind of resets the clock. For me, it's definitely gonna be fruit. I'm trying to maybe give things that aren't too sweet. For example, like, I don't know if I would give uh, my girls a mango. I use this little grapefruit spoon that has the, the edges on it that helps me. I am trying to give them some kind of fruit that isn't too sweet. Like even this cantaloupe might be a little too sweet for her. And this is really for the other girls, which that's a whole nother uh, part of this discussion. I'd say apples, applesauce, maybe a, a banana, but it can't be too ripe because if it's too ripe, it can maybe kind of like just be too sweet. Watermelon would be okay, but yeah, those type of fruits that are less decadent. I personally am okay with um, crackers, but even then I, I'm going more whole foods or all natural, like anything close to nature. And the thing about crackers, it's really a processed food. So I'm trying to stay away from processed foods when getting them back into good health. But what do you do? What's kind of your protocol? Uh, I, I did a Google search. 
I asked, hey, what, what do you feed your kid? <laughs> Can any parents relate to that? I even after being a parent of five girls and you know having an amazing wife like Judy and her, hearing from other parents, I still Google things that you think you know, just because maybe there's some new information, maybe you forgot something, and that's kind of the inspiration for today's video. This is why I'm even asking you guys. I'm gonna definitely read the comments. The second part of this too is when one of our girls is sick, I make sure all the other girls are eating really well too. So generally we have a healthy diet, in my opinion, of course. I'm sure there's people that are super, super nutritionists out there, but I do feel we take pride in feeding the girls a well-balanced diet. But when one of the girls is sick, all the girls could get sick. So I immediately start going whole foods with them, more green juices, more uh, bone broths, uh, less processed foods. I just say, hey, we're taking a break from all the snacks, which you know could or could not be the reason. I do think that sometimes if maybe we're really busy or we're going to a lot of events, maybe the girls are just snacking on their own. Maybe it could be the reason why they get sick. I just immediately try to reset everybody's system, you know, trying to get that gut health right here back on track. Green juice, fruits, whole foods is the best way to do it. I'm not trying to force the other kids to eat um, just that, but even when it comes to regular food, I'm definitely not ordering out, going to fast food. I'm doing all 100% made from scratch type of meals. Um, or as close to made from scratch. Man, we've seen the bug spread throughout our house with a vengeance. I mean, like super, super quick. By the way, this is cantaloupe is looking awesome. But yeah, getting everybody on track, getting ourselves on track, you know, making sure everyone's washing their hands really, really well. I mean, you know, obviously they're washing their hands, generally speaking. Going extra, wiping down handles, doorknobs, whenever there is a spill, making sure that that spill is taken care of right away. Sanitized, look at that, looking awesome. It actually turned out better than I thought. We bought these cantaloupes from Costco and they weren't quite ripe enough when we bought them, so we let them sit for two or three days. Gotta let it sit out though, not in the fridge. It won't ripen correctly. And the way you know, the smell. Not only did this previously cut one smell really nice, but the other one had a cantaloupe type of scent on the outside. That's what you want. This one I'm gonna cut a little bit different because it was already previously cut by someone. Cut off the edges similarly though. I'm gonna cut this one into slices. This is kind of the standard way I think a lot of people do it. Like that. But yeah, the other part too is just sleep. Um, or we're really lucky, and I think this partly because of our philosophy from the beginning. Most of our girls have slept really well. Funny enough, the, the, the younger two have had the hardest time, maybe because of the dynamic of them sleeping together at different ages. But um, all of our girls, including them now, sleep really, really well. So we don't have to really worry about that. But if for some reason, they didn't get a lot of sleep or their sleep was messed up, I find that that can lead to them being more susceptible or their immune system not being as strong. So all the other girls, that's a, a, one thing that they do um, unfortunately have to deal with. Everyone has to go to sleep a little bit earlier, get a little more sleep, get a little more strict with those nap times. Our girls up to about four years old were taking naps. And in fact, I wouldn't be surprised because of Bella if Leah sleeps till she's five years old. Even if she doesn't quite sleep, just has some quiet time. It's not only good for the kids, but keeps you sane as a parent so that you know you have a break. So parents out there, try to let that stretch out as long as possible. That's a whole nother discussion, how to get your kid to do a nap, but my mom gave me two pieces of advice when I first had Juliana. Lee, of everything she could tell me, she always tells me everything all the time about how to do things, how to parent, whatever. The two things in the very beginning she said was just make sure you feed them well, make sure they sleep well. And so I've always focused on that, but naturally I'm not perfect. Um, kids get sick. And in this case, one of the girls started puking. So I would surely appreciate everybody's input. Um, I'm inviting any kind of suggestions. And I know that not just for me, but anybody that might be watching, especially if you <laughs> 
Googled this or you typed it in YouTube, um, what to feed your kids when they puke or after they puke, you'd be helping a lot of parents, especially if you're a nutritionist, a doctor, some hippie that has some cool tricks. This is what I do. The body is amazing enough to heal itself as long as you give it the things it needs to do its job. By the way, I didn't even mention any medicine. Luckily, Judy will give them the medicine they need. Right here, this is the medicine right here. This is pretty delicious medicine too. All right.